We're talking about the key times that affect your health today. One of the most exciting and scary times is, of course, childbirth. Benita is a soon-to-be mother with a few questions. I'm expecting my first child in four months. I'm really excited, but I'm nervous about the birth. How much time can I expect to spend in labor? Benita and Ryan are here to get their questions answered from Dr. Lisa. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Well, this is exciting. Is this your, this is your first baby, right? Yes. First baby. Excellent. Yes. How many weeks are you? 22. 22 weeks. Yeah. Basically, the answer to that is that there is no hard and fast rule as far as labor. Basically, it's safe. It's not a race. A lot of people think, oh, well, my, my friend or my sister had a baby right. in eight hours or whatever. But it's healthy mommy, healthy baby. That's right. what we want. If it takes two days, which sometimes it does, uh -huh. then that's OK. okay. If it takes okay. eight hours, if it takes <laughs> four hours, that's OK. Sometimes actually having baby too fast can actually be problematic for baby. And so it's all about getting a safe baby out. Okay, but then my patients want to know, well, how do I time those contractions? Right. Do I go from the beginning to the contraction to the end, or how do you yeah, do we it? we have no idea. Yeah. Well, really, it's, <laughs> it's very easy. You can't really lose it because you go from beginning to beginning, middle to middle, end to end, as long as you're consistent. But for, you know, consistency's sake today, let's see if he's up to the test. Are you right. up to the test? Let's put it to the test. Are you paying attention? Yeah. And I actually right. brought no a timer for no, you. No so let's just make it easy and say okay. start of con contraction to the start of the next contraction. Do okay. I have okay. to act like I'm having Yes, you're going to pretend. Really? But trust me, She's just again, pretending. you These will real know it when they're real. like it's very unpleasant. All right, so you ready? <laughs> contraction! <laughs> <laughs> and then you're also going to say, it's okay, baby. Okay. Oh, it's okay, breathe. baby. You're not timing it. I am timing it. He's timing it. He's timing it. You got to tell me when it's done. That's right. Squeeze, squeeze his hand. Kick him. Whatever. Kick, kick, double kick. All right. Now you're saying it's building up. It's building up. Oh, now, now it's coming down because that's what it does. It's like a curve, like a bell-shaped curve. It's coming down. Does it really last this long? It can last for about a minute. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So coming down. Great, great. Now she's taking a breath. And he's still timing. He's still timing. Now you feel better. Now you're like, oh wow, was that really what it's all about? That's the end of it. No, you're still timing. He's still timing. Okay. Okay. Now. Little baby's going oh. again. Where's oh, the upper Daryl? <laughs> she's starting again. Oh, okay. She's starting to fill the pain up. So she stopped. So I stopped it? At, yeah. Okay, 48 seconds. Okay. So, yeah. like, all right. Okay, you that are you serious? It lasts 48 seconds? No, no, no. That's the time oh. interval, how often you're having. Because oh, you did oh. from one, you did from the beginning right. to, to the, the next beginning. Okay, okay? Good. So okay. it had already ended, and then we and took the a little space in between. Gotcha. That. Do you have to okay. stand this for real? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 no. We have to stand I'm really, because I'm trying to understand. Because I'm not going to be in a place. The length of beginning, you right. start from the beginning of one contraction right. to the beginning of the next. So she's already had it, peak come down, and then there's space in between, and then she's starting the next. Okay. So really, that was only about 30 seconds, which is typically okay. what a contraction okay. will be. Okay. All right, with okay. a little break in between. Right. But those were actually, that would have been really close, though, because okay. that would have been less than a minute in between contractions. And your doctor would have said, get That's her awesome. there. Okay. All right? Because as a doctor, yes. you're less worried about how long the contraction is versus the time between contractions. Right. That's exactly. why if you're a doctor, you've got that stopwatch. Right. You can time from start of one to the start, start of the next, next and say, hey, doc, she's 48 seconds between contractions. What do we do? Then you're going to go, okay. all right? Because usually if they're every five minutes, you're going to go to the hospital, especially for the first. Or what I always tell my patients, if you're in too much pain. A lot of times if I, and a lot of times the doctor will want to hear mom, because if she's screaming, I'm sending her to the hospital, no matter how, how I'm frequent I'm those it's a are. I have. Right, and yeah. you'll want to go, because right. if she's screaming and kicking you, you'll oh, yeah. want to go, right? Oh, yeah, I think so, yes. <laughs> That's I think he passed. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, right. Good to know. Now yeah. we're going to show you how to do an epidural at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I think I'm going to know. No, no, no. This is good advice yeah. for everyone at home who's expecting. We wish Absolutely. you both yes, the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.